Hello Martin from Baker's Timber Buildings. Uh, here uh, up in Tadworth, I wanted to show you a steel and timber frame base. Uh, lots of customers ask me about it and this is a good information video as to what we do and why. So typically you would imagine doing a concrete base, but the problem is with that is this is a January day that I'm filming on. Um, we've got a long garden, if you see down there, we put some running boards down just to keep uh, the garden nice and tidy. But trying to do a concrete base this time of year is really difficult. It's a lot of mess taking that out and a lot of mess putting it in. We are restricted uh, with the weather with concrete bases. The beauty of this is this, this base was finished today. The building will go up tomorrow, you know, so it's, it's a really quick install. What we do is we use a heavy tanninized timber uh, as a class uh, C4, um, HC4. But of course, timber into the ground is always going to be a weak spot. So we do put steels in the ground and that's where we refer to the steel and timber frame. If I come down and show you this one here, this is a steel here that's concreted in the ground. It's around 500 millimeters uh, long, so about half a meter deep. The hole's about 700 deep, and you can see we've got some. We've got one, two, three running along there, uh, three there. So this this particular base has got like 12 steels in into it. Okay, that makes a skeleton frame, and these are uh, set at certain distances that we know are going to take uh, any kind of load in gyms hot tubs you know any weights any, none of any of that would be uh, no problem with this base it's calculated like a first floor uh, house spec it allows us also to get a bit of airflow underneath we are going to actually put another bit of this facing off you can see here and probably the front's a bit easier this color bit of deck in here there's going to be the color of the building so it all match in but you do we do face off and we'll be doing another bit along there but we do want a bit of airflow and the beauty of this is the ground could undulate if I take you to the back over there, you can see it's quite up in the air there as I wander down. There's quite a lot of gap here, you see, at the bottom. I'm going to say there's probably about 150 millimetres um, underneath that base. That allows a nice airflow. We can deal with any of the um, you know, any of the undulations of the ground. The 2.5 metres from the highest ground points, you can just see the high ground there. We're going to be bringing that away, putting some patio there later. Um, then we use um, all of the joists are put, fitted in and then we're using their as you can see there, the joist hangers on every single every single joist. So hopefully that just gives you a good idea of when we talk about a steel and timber frame base, what we're doing. And the beauty of this addition is, it's essentially a dry installation. We're only using concrete in the holes, so we can even bring this through a house. So um, we've just done three or four up in London. The whole base and the building comes through the house, clean and easy to do. Um, so there you go. If you want some more information about our bases or the buildings that go on top of these bases, feel free to give us a call on 01444 247192. Thank you.